What is up everybody, this is Kyle from the TF Review on a very, very cold December night. Here we are with Generations Sky Shadow. I hope you enjoy this review. So here we have Generations Sky Shadow. This is of course a repaint and a little bit of a retool of the past Generations Thunderwing. Um, this figure was pretty anticipated mainly because a lot of people thought the Generations line would die after uh, the Dark of the Moon line. I mean... They knew something was going to come out in the sort of classic style, but they didn't know that it was going to be just the Generations line returning. So that made a lot of fans happy and made this toy, as well as Junk Heap, very sought after. Um, luckily for us, luckily for us, these toys have been pretty common. Um, you know, there were a few people trying to sell them for ridiculous prices, like the second they launched them. Uh, but luckily they came around, and now... Pretty much everybody that wants one has one. If you don't, you know, you can find one pretty easily. So that makes myself, and I'm sure a lot of other Transformers collectors, pretty happy. Um, now let's go over, uh, basically the paint and whatnot. Uh, it's, in essence, the same as Thunderwing, except the chest plate is a little bit different. And the paint job is, of course, very different. Now it's got sort of a red, black, and silver paint job, which I think looks sexy no matter what the Transformer is. Um, you can see basically he's got a pretty easy transformation. You got his arms, his legs, his chest, and then his head is sort of hidden up back there. Um, he's also got some landing gear. You just take this front part out. Kind of a pain in the butt, but you, get, you can get it if you try hard enough. Get some nail under there. That landing gear pops out. And he does have some rear landing gear. Uh, these little white panels. You just get your nail under there, fold them out, And he's good. He's able to sit or roll. He rolls pretty well. There's barely, barely any clearance underneath this uh, chest plate. So it's a tight fit. Uh, what I like to do in that case is I like to use his feet. So that, so that way he can't roll, but he's a lot more stable. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. That's just random, something I do. Um, for the transformation, he's got a very easy transformation. First, you want to start off by pulling this head part and you want to lift up the landing gear uh, duh. like so and you can fold the arms out a little bit and then now you want to take his little crotch piece right here and lift it up and then now we can see the mechanism that holds his legs together you want to pull it down then you want to put his crotch piece back down and then you just want to spread his little feetsies Spread his little feet. They don't. His feet don't go all the way solid. They're gonna kind of split like that. But when for standing up, that doesn't seem to be a problem. Um, and there you can see we basically got his robot mode uh, for his head. Lastly, we want to take this chest piece, fold it down, and then for his wings, you just want to fold. Well, you can fold these bits out, and then fold it up, and then fold the nose cone back over it and then that usually holds not sure there we go I just need to click it into place and there we've got Thunderwing in his robot mode now Thunderwing has an awesome looking robot mode I mean he's not really lacking any details his paint scheme and his paint apps are fantastic the red is nice and shiny the silver is nice and shiny and uh, the gray, the gray is a little bit bland, um, but I guess it works, so I can't complain too much. For his back, yeah, he's, he's got a pretty big backpack, um, this nose cone piece. It's pretty big, but it doesn't look bad when standing him up. And his two little wing parts can split up, and now we've got total Gundam looking uh, Transformer right here. And with the red, silver, and black color scheme, it looks damn sexy, in my opinion. Now, Thunderwing does come with two accessories. These little blaster pistol thingies. Um, just push it down. They fire. You can put these pretty much anywhere if you want them to hold them. If it's right in his hand. Or if you want to store them right here on his little wingies, you can just... You just got to... Peg him in. There you go. Peg him in. 
All right. And now he's sporting some major artillery. Uh, and he's very back heavy. Um, so you got to kind of lean him forward a little bit. And yeah, um, for articulation, his arms move in and out. He's got these little shoulder joints. Go forward and back. Doesn't have a waist swivel. His legs are in ball joints. Move forward, back. Bends at the knees. Doesn't have a lot of articulation at the feet. Um, and the head does rotate on a ball joint, but it's sort of a weirdly placed ball joint. So that when you look to the left and the right, it looks upwards and to the left and upwards to the right. So maybe he's doing a little dance. Um, I really love those horns. And yeah, that is Thunderwing. So I want to apologize if this review is a little bit rushed. I, it's about 30 degrees outside and I am wearing a t-shirt and sandals, which isn't smart. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to get this review out. I really wanted to show, and I really wanted to show how cool the figure this is. It's definitely worth not passing up. Looks really awesome in your generation's collection. So, that's it for Thunderwing. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at the TF Review. And thank you guys so much. Later.